First of all, let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. As you go through this playoff run, so when you dish to somebody, or you assist somebody, or you help somebody up, or whatever, I'm packing your parachute, buddy. I got you. I got you. You guys got to must do that throughout the rest of these, these next two weeks. You got to be packing parachutes, baby. Sorry, Tino, but we got we got five weeks left. We win this. Okay, whatever. Well, five weeks. We, we win the state championship. All right. Let's go. Let's, let's clap it up for that. Man. I'm Garrett Brown. I'm the head basketball coach at uh, Bakersfield Christian High School. Uh, we had a really good season this year. It was my first year as head coach. So I got to see these guys mature and, and grow and, and develop over the past two years as the assistant, but this is my first year uh, taking over the reins as a head coach. You can't feel yourself in the playoffs. It's all about team. So if there is something that you have going on in your life that you feel you need to break up with or have it, that you have. Maybe you don't like practicing, you don't like doing a certain drill hard or whatever. Break up with that. It accumulated into us, uh, you know, winning, the, winning a Central Section Championship, a place where we lost the two previous years, and then moving on to state and uh, winning a Southern Regional Final. Um, obviously, our season got cut short a little bit, but, you know, things happen in life and, and you got to push through them and, and uh, you know, keep striving to, to be better. When he sat down and talked to us about packing your parachute, talked about a fighter pilot named Charles Plum who was gunned down in, I believe, the Vietnam War. Um, and, you know, a, a guy packed his parachute in the plane, and that was the reason why he was able to survive that. You were a POW, right? And you, you made it out. That is so awesome. Charles Plum looked at the guy and said, Wow, he, he got it. He shook the guy's hand. He said, Man, how do you know so much about me? How do you know so much? And the guy said, I'm the sailor who was on the same ship as you. And I'm the guy that packed your parachute before you flew your, your mission. I don't know if you guys got that. Years later, this guy meets the guy that saved him, who actually packed, everybody say pack your parachute. Parachute. They packed his parachute before he went on that mission. So if he didn't pack it correctly, right, he would have died. You guys with me on that? Mm -hmm. I'm asking you, the question is to you, whose parachute are you packing? Are you packing your teammate's parachute? Or is it just all about you? Every game the rest of the year, after he came and talked to us, I wrote down on the whiteboard, pack your brother's parachute and just take care of your brother. You know, be there for him. If he falls, pick him up. If he gets beat, baseline, make sure help side is there. And then he'll rotate to the next guy and help out. During the talk, during the motivational speech, I would say um, for sure the packing your parachute for your brother, the win anyways. And I think some of the stories just really resonated with me. I feel like throughout the whole season and any time of adversity, especially with the win anyways. It's just a mentality where you're faith with, uh, faced with adversity in life and it's all about how you handle it and just keep pushing forward. You gotta pack the parachute. See, every time they get beat and you step in like you're supposed to, you're packing their parachute. Every time you, you're doing your thing, you dish out for the assist, you're packing your team's parachute. Every time somebody has a turnover or shoots a bad shot, but you clap it up for them, it's okay, let's go. Next play. You're packing their parachute. Packing parachute. There's times when I got beat on defense and then they come and step up and they got my back. Uh, vice versa. If somebody gets beat, I'm there to step up. It's just We just had each other's backs, got it done, and we knew if we trusted each other, we'd, we'd be win. On the court or in life, you can win anyway. Oh, yeah, you can win anyway. No matter what the score may be, you can win anyway. Not only on the court can you win anyway, but in life you can win anyway. But winning anyways for us was, was huge. That was another key point when uh, Terrence came and talked to us. And, you know, just basically for us, it was a mentality where you don't have a good shooting game. doesn't matter. Find a way to win. You know, you can't get a stop at a certain time. Okay, what are you going to do on offense to go, to go counteract that? 
when you deal with a setback, when you do some, have something happen in your life that doesn't feel good, when something happens on the court that doesn't feel good, when something is said that doesn't feel good, doesn't look good, doesn't taste good, you got to look at it, I'm going to win anyway. doesn't matter how many points you're down. I'm going to win anyway. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to win. Everybody say win anyway. Win. One more time, win anyway. Win anyway. You're going to win anyway. Moving forward, uh, this motivational speech has really helped me and I'm going to take a lot of the important values I learned from it, whether it was just having that team emphasis and making sure you look out for your brothers and always have your mind on them rather than yourself. And I learned a lot, of it, a lot about leadership and just making sure as a team you come together and we had one goal and that's something I'm going to hold for the rest of my life. I'm telling you right now, everything that you're learning now as an athlete going to serve you 20 years from now. 20 years from now, you're going to say, man, it was something that he said that helped me in whatever situation that you're in. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, when, when you're a head coach and you've gone through a grueling season, you try to find different ways to motivate your guys. And honestly, it was the, it was the perfect button for me to push to get him to come talk to the guys. Like, I, I couldn't have, there's no way I could have had that speech with those guys. There's no way anyone else I think could have had the, the effect and impact that he had on all the guys. You know, he came in and guys were on their phone and just hanging out and then as soon as he started speaking, the phones went down, eyes were up and they were locked in 100%. And, I, and you know, he, he honestly had as much of an impact as anyone on our stretch run. Just, just the way that he, you know, connected with the guys and told his stories and, and told his life story and everything like that. It just, it really helped us. It, it really did. So I, I would recommend it to anyone. Um, it, it'll be, it'll be a big for your, for your team and your program. Shout out to coach G first year state championship, never done, never going to be done before, never going to be done after. That's all I got to say.